everybody. Hey, girl, hey. <laughs> how you doing? So, how's everybody doing on this beautiful new moon? Guess what? The rain stopped. We have needed the rain, but it's kind of um, made working on the house a little slow. So, yay! Today, no rain! <laughs> yay! <laughs> I wanted to do a collective twin flame reading. Um, I'm going to use the, um, the spread that I've made. Do me a favor, hit like, subscribe, share, hit that notification bell if you want to get alerts when I post new videos. I've actually been thinking about um, going live on my channel, so if that's something that you would like for me to do, we can go live, I can pull some cards. Um, let me know. Drop a sun in the comment below. And we'll do it. Yay. All right. So, what is Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine healing right now with this new moon? What are they healing? Sorry. I'm 144, guys. 144 has been everywhere. Everywhere. Like, I get on Instagram, boop, there it is. I get on YouTube, boop, there it is. <laughs> like, it's everywhere. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and lay these out, okay? What needs to be released with the Divine Masculine, Divine Feminine, what needs to be released? needs to be released. One more, please. Okay. Where are they going? Feminine, divine masculine, where are they going? I'm gonna lay these out and then I'm gonna talk about it. <laughs> One more, please. Where are they going? Divine Feminine, um, you are healing, you are in that cocoon phase that has now come to an end. Um, your wings are ready. It is time to take flight in the direction that you're meant to go in. Divine Masculine, same's going on with him. So definitely feel we are having, we are, we are approaching unions, okay? A union starts with self. Now, every time I see this card, I hear you feel like you've been planted or buried, but in reality, you have been planted to grow. So you both are in that cocoon. You both are healing those fears. You both are healing that the mask of the ego 
that you have been wearing here. Look at my just my hair. <laughs> here in the 3D, okay? Because it is time to step into your true authentic self. It is time to take that mask off because your wings are ready. You both are under the ground. You're growing, okay? You're in that cocoon, you're growing. It is time to take the mask off. Let the world see you <laughs> in your beautiful face. <laughs> what needs to be released with um, Divine Feminine there's a lot of phobias um, that are being released right now. Uh, you could be moving, you could be relocating, you could be traveling, and it's time to jump on the train. You've got the ticket. Divine masculines are healing. Um, And I'm hearing ancestral lives, past lives. Um, you're healing the the wars and and the battles that have come before this moment, and you're releasing the phobias around it. Divine feminine is releasing the phobias on moving, on leaving, on with the journey. Um, I keep hearing fear is a liar. Someone's afraid to take that step. Someone is afraid to leave that pain behind someone is afraid to leave it because they're afraid of the unknown someone is afraid to walk away from the war within to be able to find peace and those are the things that need to be released is is the fear fear holds you back fear is a liar where are they going To the great unknown. <laughs> Loosen your grip. Coping mechanisms, destiny, addiction, let God in. Okay, divine feminine, you are letting go of how you feel it should look and you're trusting the process, you're trusting the journey, you're trusting divine timing because divine timing is at play right now um you're letting go and letting god um clear the path is what i'm hearing as i look at this card because when you look at this card and this is for the divine masculine and now keep in mind we have divine feminine and masculine both within us and it looks like on this cliff, there's a pathway and a door with the golden arch. And you know where you're going, you can feel where you're going, you can see where you're going, but the path isn't quite um, clear just yet. So let go, 919, let go of how you think it should look and trust that each step you take, it will be a step in the right direction. This is also big picture thinking. This is, um, Big picture thinking, huh? <laughs> I'm not real sure what that was, but okay. <laughs> we'll 
take it. <laughs> Confirmation. Um, visionary inspired ideas. This is also the Palladians. What's going on underneath the surface? Um, messenger. This is Cyrus energy, bringing harmony and balance. So as we let go and, and divine feminine energy steps into the divine role of trusting the intuition, trusting the, um, the messages, trusting um, the direction that you're being led to go in. You're trusting the guidance. Divine masculines are, are healing the war and the battle within. And this is bringing balance and harmony into it. It's 1111. I want to see what messages Archangel Michael has for this divine masculine and divine feminine. Archangel Gabriel is here. Archangel Michael. Archangel Metatron. They're they're helping. Lead the way. <laughs> One more, please. One more. I'm gonna have to figure out what fell. That's interesting. Divine Feminines, forgive yourself. You did nothing wrong. And I keep hearing the Lord is my shepherd. Believe and trust that, that you are being protected, that you're being guided. Uh, divine Masculines, go forward fearlessly. It's time to take the first step. It's time to find that door. You have, and what's interesting, <laughs> in my divine feminine's energy spot, you have Archangel Michael holding a baby and the little bitty baby lamb. And I keep hearing the Lord is my shepherd. And then in the divine masculine spot, he looks as if he is He has the world in his hands and he's ready to move forward. He's ready to go. He's ready to lay the wars. 1414, he's ready to lay the war in, inside to rest. Because he has, I say he, divine masculine energy. It, it, you know, we have flip them around because we have both of them. Fourteen forty-one. Believe and trust. And here's a prayer for you. Before going to sleep tonight, say, Archangel Michael, 
please enter my dreams and replace fear with faith and trust. Let me be filled with strength, courage, and confidence. Fearlessly go. Let go of how you think it should look and embrace the unknown. Let go of the fears and the phobias that are holding you back. Fear of being left behind. Fear of not winning the battle. Fear of, I have to hold on to this or it's never going to come back. Fear of not being able to find your way. Because it will... It will be shown. Let's see what messages my angels have. <laughs> I love it. Surrender. There's no point in pushing the borrow up such a steep hill. Go back to the start. Surrender your expectations. There's an easier way. When the time is right, a new path will appear. Trust divine timing. The unknown. Do not fear the unknown. This is a time of deep exploration and transformation. Unfamiliar territory leads to new horizons. Sacred source. While your angels are here to remind you of your magnificence, you are literally an angel in the making, a being of eternal love and light, forever one with God, goddess, and all creation. Rest and believe the faith of a mustard seed <laughs> is what I'm hearing. I hope these messages find you well and happy new moon, friends. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Do me a favor, hit like, share, subscribe, hit that little notification bell, and um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.